Not gonna lie, this movie brought me back to those Saturday mornings when you're watching those Disney Channel original horror films. Vampires versus the Bronx. Now, in this movie, we follow three friends who have noticed that a lot of their buildings in the Bronx are starting to be bought out by these very wealthy white people to turn out to be vampires. And they gotta stop them. Now, Vampires vs. the Bronx is a new Netflix original horror comedy that is premiering on October 2nd. And y'all, I was really looking forward to this movie because I love the trailer. It looked very campy and silly. It looked like it was going to poke fun at a lot of vampire tropes uh, while having a sort of attack of the block sort of vibe. So I was really looking forward to checking out this movie. And I have to say, everything I just said and what I thought this movie was going to be is exactly what this movie is. I think this is an excellent sort of kid-friendly horror comedy that if I had saw Back when I was a kid, I would have want to watch over and over and over and over again. Because I love these characters. These three friends are so cool and I love their chemistry and their dynamics. And I love how much they love the Bronx. And that's another great thing that I feel like this movie does is they definitely do a great job in making the Bronx feel like a very populated, lively place. I did really love this movie's tone. It's very easy to digest, it's fun, it's entertaining. I loved how this movie did poke fun at a lot of vampire tropes, such as, you know, can't be seen in reflections and photos and videos, uh, holy water. They have a really great scene with holy water that I found very, very entertaining. I will admit though, um, this movie wants to be Attack the Block and it doesn't quite reach those heights because I feel like it's a bit overstuffed and too much going on. I think it would have been nice if it had just honed in on a little bit, you know, I feel like they got too many characters um, and they're trying to give everyone a moment to shine. And I felt like particularly the final set piece uh, of how all of them are defeated is a bit rushed, I guess. Also, maybe this, maybe it's just me but I feel like I'm always pulling out some sort of metaphor or meaning in a movie. But I definitely got the sort of metaphor that white people are sucking out the souls of minorities in this movie. And if that was the case, and that's what they were going for, I dug it. Overall, Vampires in the Bronx is a fun, entertaining, family-friendly horror comedy that doesn't quite reach its potential, but if you're a child, I definitely think they'll be fully entertained by this movie because it has great characters, a really great uh, twist on the vampire subgenre, and it's just a really a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun that will bring you back to the Disney Channel original days. As the score goes, I'm going to give Vampires vs. the Bronx a 3 out of 5. So you guys, there you have it. That was my review for Vampires vs. the Bronx. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you think of this movie when it becomes accessible to you. And until next time, you guys, I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been Slash.